Bob gave me some recipes so that we can at least take baby steps to integrate these vegetables into bingo. And the key to these recipes is the vegetable puree that you put into the food. So tonight we're having ground turkey meatloaf integrated with the spinach and broccoli and peas and sweet potatoes and carrots. I mean, there's a lot of vegetables in the meatloaf. Hey guys. Hey. Growing up as a kid, we didn't make him eat them. You know, as a mother, it, it's disheartening. I mean, I feel like I failed. And if this doesn't work, then I don't know where to go from here. Please. What are these? It's meatloaf. It's a turkey. What's this? It's a crust. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's getting ready to eat that meatloaf. I know what's in it. I can't believe it. Bingo takes the first bite, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this might work. It's good. You already ate the whole thing. I know. I'm hungry. I wanted to jump up and down. I wanted to dance. I wanted to go over there and give him a high five. You enjoyed the dinner? Yeah, it was good. Well, the reason I'm asking is because in the meatloaf, mm -hmm. there are carrots and sweet potatoes, spinach, mm -hmm. and broccoli, and peas. <laughs> it's nasty. My mom tells me, you know, there was vegetables in your meatloaf. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I mean, of course, I want to eat them. I just don't like them. So it's like, if you hide them in my food and I get them down somehow, it works. So okay. that's what we'll do. In the 13 years that Bingo has been alive, he has never eaten that many vegetables in one sitting. So this might be the answer to our prayers. Hi. Hi, Mia. How are you? Good. I'm the Fillmore Middle School guidance counselor. And Delvet um, contacted me to help Lindsay because she's uh, pre-diabetic. I heard that I did have pre-diabetes, and I just don't want it to get worse. And I'm just like, I don't know who to talk to. You're right on in being afraid of diabetes. Um, not a lot of people here in the school know, but I have diabetes. Food was my best friend at that time. And so I started eating more and more junk food. Before I knew it, I was just not at a healthy weight. And my doctor said, Norma, you have diabetes. How did you deal with it when you, when your doctor told you that you had diabetes? I was pissed. <laughs> I like to eat. I like to cook. Um, this was not for me. This is not fair, you know? Right now, I take five pills twice a day. I prick my finger for blood testing um, two, three times a day. And at night, I give myself an insulin shot. I don't like needles, okay? I've always hated needles. Me too. So, you know, this is my little kit. You don't mind seeing? No. I don't want to scare you, but <laughs> this is reality. I want you to know, and I want you to take this seriously. I'm scared of needles. I'm like a cat in water with needles. This is the part I really hate. You have to make sure you get the um, bubbles out. OK, here. And then just you go in there and you put it in. It just scares me because what if I get diabetes and I can't live through life like a normal kid and have to go every other hour, every hour, injecting myself with insulin. At this point, you're not there. Isn't that something? You're not yeah. there. And right now, if you're able to, you know, stop the junk food, um, all the sugar drinks, you know, you have a choice. Yeah. So we can do this. All we right? We will do this. Thank you, Mama, so much. All right. You're awesome. OK. You take care. All right. Well. OK. You say hi to your mom for me. I will. She just inspired me right now. I just want to get moving. I have to eat healthier in moderation. And I'm just so thankful that she shared this with me, and I'm never going to forget this day. <laughs>